Hey, it's Dave here taking a look at what is new in iOS 14, particularly as a voiceover user. Now, in this video, I'm going to take a look at the new approach to home screens that Apple have taken. This is probably the biggest overhaul to the home screen they've ever done. You may be familiar, you probably are, with having pages and pages of apps and sometimes it can become a bit of a mess. So now if you want to just have one or two home screens, for example, with the apps you use most day to day, you can do that and you can have the rest of your icons hidden away. You no longer need to have all icons on home screens. So first thing I'm going to do is show you how with VoiceOver we are going to hide the home screens of apps we don't want anymore. So if we look at mine, I have currently five home screens of apps. Page one of five, adjustable. So both of says page one of five, I'm going to swipe up. Page two of five, page three of five, page four of five, page five of five. So five pages, that's a lot of apps, home screens. So now what I'm going to do is going to go to edit mode. So I'm going to just tap on any icon on my home screen. Now TV. And then I'm going to use the actions menu. So I'm going to swipe up or down until I get to edit and double tap. Edit mode. Start editing. We're in edit mode. Now I'm going to go back to that page chooser at the bottom. Doc, mail is editing. No one read page five of six, adjustable. And I'm going to double tap now. Home screen page hiding, page five of six, adjustable. So now I have a screen displaying um, a load of tiles essentially representing each home screen. Page one, visible. So Actions available. Page one, visible. So I want to keep that one. Page two, visible. Actions available. I want to keep that one as well, but I want to hide pages three, four, and five. Page three, visible. Page three, hidden. So I swipe to page three or tap on page three and double tap to toggle it from visible to hidden. Page four, visible. Page four, hidden. Page five, visible. Page five, hidden. So now I have page one and page two that are visible. I'm going to find the done button in the top right corner. Done button. Done. And now I'm back on the home screen. Lottery, i.e. page two of three, adjustable. Because I'm still in edit mode, it says page two of three. So I'm just going to ent exit um, edit mode by doing the home gesture. Finished editing. Page two of two, adjustable. Take away folder, page two of two, and page one of two. So I have page one of two. And page two. Page two of two. So they're the home screens I want with the apps I use most. But what if I do want to get to an app that is not on one of these home screens? I don't need to go and unhide those pages and find them. Instead, Apple have given us um, something they call the app library. So if we go past page two, in my case, so past the last page of visible apps you have, you get to the app library. So you can swipe from right to left with three fingers, uh, obviously, to scroll to the last page, or use the page controller here and swipe up on it, and we'll get to the apps, the app library screen. Showing app library, productivity and finance, productivity and finance folder, 34 apps. So as you'll hear voiceover said, showing app library screen. Suggestions, settings. Now, the way this works, it kind of splits the screen down into sections. So it splits up your apps uh, into um, categories, I guess. So it has a suggested, which are some apps it thinks you may want to use now, um, using kind of, you know, Siri intelligence, that kind of thing. It has recently downloaded apps. So if you've just downloaded something new, and this is can be a very quick way to go and find it. And then you've got categories, productivity, entertainment, games, and so on. And it puts them into kind of little blocks of four. So in the top left, four icons are suggested. The to the right of that, there's a block of four, which are recent, below suggested, you've got... Information and reading, weather gods, overcast, overcast. Information and reading. And in each case, each block gives you three apps that it's displaying in the block. And then the fourth, the bottom right of the four in the block, is a folder with all of the apps in that section. So if I swipe right here. IDP, weather gods, information and reading folder, 17 apps. I get the information and reading folder with 17 apps so I can double tap that information and reading heading and I'm in a folder showing all of those apps and unlike the apps on the main home screens it's actually displaying all of them in one big kind of scrollable screen it's not the three by three grid of nine icons that you get on normal home screen folders IDP Irish hot Irish hot net newswire overcast so I've loads of those You'll find it's a bit hit and miss in terms of 
telling you, you know, or putting these into the right categories. For the most part, it gets it right, but you might sometimes find, you know, an app you thought might be in productivity is actually in utilities or something like that. But for the most part, it does it quite well. You can also delete apps from this screen as well. So if I wanted to delete... Um, Irish Times. Irish Times, and just say that was... Obviously, if that's on one of my main home screens, I still delete it the same way I ever did. But if it's not on one of my home screens, I then can still come into the app library, find an app, and delete it the same way I normally would. So I would use the actions rotor again and swipe up or down to edit. Edit mode. Started editing. And then swipe up or down again until I get to delete. Delete. And I would Irish Times. Tap. Current action. Delete. And I would double tap to delete it. Um, so that is also how you delete them. If you have an app in here that is not on one of your visible home screens and you want to add it to one of your visible home screens, then what you can do is do the, again the same drag and drop that you would normally do on your home screens. Finished editing. Information and reading. Heading. App library. Information and reading. Now, I said that there's a lot of these blocks. They are kind of in headings, although in fact the headings are not reachable using the headings in the rotor. So if I go to headings in the Language. rotor. Language. Headings. And swipe up or down. Heading not found. Heading not found. I don't get anything. Instead, they're in what they call containers, which is also a rotor element. So I'm going to go on past headings to containers. Containers. And now if I swipe up or down, it'll get me from section to section. Overcast. Recently added. Lazarillo. Information and reading. Overcast. Social. WhatsApp. Productivity and finance. Mail. No unread emails. So say productivity and finance was what I was looking for. I can then swipe right. Teams. Shortcuts. And if it's one of those three or... Productivity and finance folder. 34 apps. Open the app. Or open the folder. So um, I, you might find if you're using this screen a lot, and you may or may not use this screen a lot, you may want to assign a gesture to this. So for example, for headings, I because I use that a lot in Safari and things, I have a the two finger swipe up and down for headings. So I've done a four finger swipe up and down to um, toggle me between containers. If I swipe down with four fingers. Utilities, app store, entertainment, four is a football. We're back up again. Utilities, app store, productivity and finance, mail, no unread emails. So if you're going to use containers, uh, you might find that a bit easier rather than having to go to the router every time. So that is the app library screen in terms of how it categorizes all your apps. But you might find, well, I don't know where exactly this app is, which category it's put it into. I just want to find it fast. You have an A to Z list available as well. So up the top of this screen. Page one of three. There is a text field. Airplane mode on. In app library. Search field. So it says app library search field. You can double tap on that. App library search field. And if you double tap on it, in the top half of the screen, you'll get the A to Z list. And in the bottom half of the screen, you get a keyboard. And you can start, just like with Spotlight, you can start typing um, the name of the app and it'll filter it up here. Or you can place your finger in the top half onto the list. App library search field. A heading. And over to the right, there is... All four. Actions available. Section index. Adjustable. A section index, which you'll be familiar with from other A to Z lists, such as in the Contacts app. Um, and then I could swipe down. B, C, select D, selected. And then that will let me find apps easily A to Z. There is another way to open this as list as well. App library. So search field. I'm back on the main app library screen. I'm going to tap on any icon on the screen. IDP. And I'm going to swipe down with three fingers. So just like on a normal home screen, you would swipe down with three fingers to open Spotlight. On this screen, if you swipe down with three fingers, it opens your A to Z list. App library, search field, actions available, Apple support, actions and available. In this case, if you do it this way, you, there's no keyboard on screen. So it's not designed for typing a search. It's designed for just opening the list and giving you that A to Z. So I find that really Section handy. index, adjustable. If there's an app that I... Don't use kind of every day, but every now and then I want to be able to find it. Sometimes this A to Z can be a good way to do it. Of course, things like Siri and stuff might be the faster again, but this is a useful option to have an A to Z kind of list of all of your apps on your device, whether or not they are shown on your home screen right now. Notification center. So that is the app Amazon library screen and how you can add and hide um apps from your home screens as well and it's up to you how many home screens you want so you, you may find you just want one main home screen and the app library screen or you might want a few 
There is also a couple of other small things to show. So Home app store. When you download a new app, so I'm going to go into settings here. Settings. Settings. And then we go to home. Wallpaper, button, Syrians, face ID, emergency SOS, button, face, Siri, wall, accessibility, home screen, button. So just above accessibility in the list in the settings app, you have home. Newly downloaded apps, heading. So the first option is for newly downloaded apps. And we've got two options. Add to home screen. Add to home screen, in which case it'll do what it has always done before, which is when you download a new app, it'll pop it into the first available space on your home screens or selected app library only what i have selected is app library only so if i download a new app it won't by default add that to a home screen it'll just be in my app library and then if i want to add it from the home screen i can go to the app library use the rotor and drag it onto a home screen but that's up to me if i want to do that so that's what i like because sometimes i download a new app just to try it out don't know if i like it or not and then you know, I may decide to add it to a home screen or I may decide just to leave it in the app library or delete it altogether. Notification badges, heading. And then you've got notification badges. Show app library, off. And you have the option, do you want those little notification badges on apps, on the icons, on apps, on the app library screen or not? So I have them off right now. And the Settings. last thing to show is... Home, app store. For example, I selected to delete one of these apps from my regular home screen. Notes. Outlook. Six new items. So let's say Outlook, which is a third party app. So I'm going to open the rotor again or use the rotor until I get to edit. Edit mode. Started editing. And then I'm going to swipe up and down until I get to delete. Delete. Alert. Move Outlook to app library or delete the app. And you hear voiceover gave me an option there. So I can either. Moving the app will remove it from the home screen and keep all its data. Delete app button. Delete the app altogether from my phone. Move to app library button. Or move to app library. They call it move to app library. Of course, it's already in the app library. But if I select this, it means it deletes it from my home screen, but does not delete it from my phone. So I'll still have access to that app from my app library screen. So that is um, also an option. Finish edit. Alert. Delete outlook. Music. Tune and radio. Recently updated. And really, that is it for the new uh, home. Uh, and app library screens. Um, I think it's a very welcome addition because uh, my phone, you know, would have got very cluttered with a lot of different apps and folders and all sorts going on, pages and pages of them. So now I could just have a couple of pages with the apps I want, quick access to day to day, and everything else is still easily findable and, and searchable indeed in the app library screen. So that is, uh, that is it. And uh, that is one of the major new features of iOS 14 and how to use it as a voiceover user. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.